Photosynthesis is uh, part two about the light independent reaction that does not need light. It's not necessary. Used to be called the dark reaction. It's not dark reaction because it can happen also in the light, but it can happen also without light. So it's not necessarily just only happens in the dark. So it's that's why it's light independent reaction or it's called the Calvin cycle. So let's draw a chloroplast, the outside, uh, uh, the outer membrane and the inner membrane, and the thylakoids uh, stacked on top of each other to form the grana, uh, granum. Here in the thylakoid membrane, there are the pigments, the chlorophyll A, B, xanthophyll, carotenoid, and the light comes from the sun and the photon and the photosystem to the light harvesting complexes are going to harvest the energy of the photon and pass it on to the reaction center complex where the chlorophyll A is over there and it's going to lose one electron one of its electrons, the electron will go through the electrotransport chain. This is already we covered in the previous video. And here comes another photon to photosystem one. And uh, also the light harvesting complexes absorb uh, the energy and the reaction center is uh, donating one electron as it uh, gets another electron from the electrotransport chain. It's a chain reaction. and uh, at the end of the cycle is the ATP synthase that will do the photophosphorylation. So here we have the water molecule that comes from outside. It's necessary for the light reaction. It's going to split into electrons, protons, and oxygen. The oxygen as a waste will leave the, uh, leave the chloroplast through the stro uh, stomata and the electron goes down. We talked about that the electron is going to be picked up by high energy, high electron energy carrier, the NADP plus. So uh, the hydrogen ion, the proton, due to chemosmosis, because inside it's uh, way more hydrogen ions from the split, water splitting. So it will go through the ATP synthase, the thylakoid membrane, uh, as we uh, stated in the mitochondrion case, also the cellular respiration is not permeable. So uh, pretty much the hydrogen, the electron and the proton is going to be picked up, but an ADP plus and the ADP and the phosphate group will form ATP. So this was the light reaction in nutshell in this section, but it's really necessary to review that. So the stroma, here we have the Calvin cycle. It's a cycle because uh, it comes back to its uh, molecule it's going to regenerate the carbon dioxide acceptor. So carbon dioxide comes in through the uh, stoma and we have to name a chemical, the ribulose biphosphate, RUBP, ribulose biphosphate, that it's going to pick up the carbon dioxide. This is the organic molecule that is going to fix the carbon dioxide. There's an enzyme, the Rubisco enzyme. This is uh, pretty much the most abundant uh, protein in the chloroplasts, and it also thought to be the most abundant protein on earth. So I would like you guys to at least remember its name. Uh, the Rubisco is that the name of the enzyme that facilitates the reaction. So uh, the ribulose B phosphate binds with the carbon dioxide, and this is the carbon fixation. And it will form a six because the ribulose uh, biphosphate is a five carbon uh, 
molecule will form a six carbon intermediate substance that it's immediately splits in half forming two three five uh, actually uh what is it gly what is that uh, glyceraldehyde three phosphate or three phosphoglycerate so here was the so between in the circle in the cycle we have several steps but we are not getting into it so happened carbon fixation as the carbon was added to the ribulose b phosphate and the inorganic carbon mono, uh, carbon dioxide will form an organic molecule as well as, okay we just stated that the something is okay so the glucose is over the so from the glyceraldehyde three phosphate glucose can form and from the glucose cell cellulose will form sucrose will form what else uh, the cellular uh, starch will form the glucose will be the starting material for cellular respiration and uh, as well as other molecules are formed from the glucose so we talked only about the carbon dioxide but we have to mention that the NADPH is really important in here to reduce the carbon dioxide as well as the ribulose uh, B-phosphate as it gives off its proton and electron it turns back to NADP plus get oxidized and goes back into the light reaction to pick up another electron and proton now also the ATP is really necessary for that reaction as it's going to help facilitate the building up anabolic reaction to incorporate to fix the carbon so this is the light independent reaction because we don't need light for that the starting materials are carbon dioxide NADPH and ATP and the end product is a glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate NADP plus as well as ADP and phosphate 